Hey, it's David Halka. And Sally. And today we're in Lisbon and behind me is Tram 28. And I think that one's gonna take off without us on it because it looks like it's full, but we're right outside our hotel and we'll catch the next Tram 28 and we'll be total tourists today. It's like riding the cable car in San Francisco. Nobody does it except for the tourists. Off it goes. Behind there is actually our hotel, Hotel Mundial. It's our hotel. Here comes our tram. Ooh, it's all open air. We got on. <laughs> Australia Basilica, right here, big huge dome, right by the Tram 28, and across the street here is a park. We got off Tram 28 and we're in a church now, haven't figured out which one it is yet actually. Beautiful though. Here we are climbing yet another church tower. What is this, our third one? Yes. And we made it to at least this level. I think you can get up there too. It's 10.48 a.m. The bells will ring at 11 and then I suppose they will chime 12 or 11 times after that. Amazing view. There's that bridge that looks like the Golden Gate. I believe it's called the 28th of April Bridge. Say hi, Sally. Hello. And the sea. We're in the dome now. And here, there's still lots above us. Okay, it's night one in Lisbon, we already ate dinner, and we got gelato, in fact, uh, Sally actually got gelato, which is uh, surprising. <laughs> Secondly, hers is definitely prettier than mine. So let's try it, go ahead. Let's get the taste test here. It's delicious. It's good. <laughs> Strawberry and uh, chocolate, real, real adventurous, huh? It's good, very good.
it's almost midnight. night when we arrived 25th of April bridge it looks exactly like the Golden Gate and there's a statue of Jesus over there I'll have to get there sooner or later how cool is that that's a submarine right there so we ate dinner in this neighborhood last night this is Baisha This is actually our rooftop bar at our hotel, Hotel Mondial, on a Saturday about uh, 1 o'clock. It's, uh, I guess technically it's brunch. What an amazing view though. St. George's Castle up there. Welcome to another episode of Adventures in Getting There with David. Right now we're on the 15E tram all the way across Lisbon to uh, Geronimo's Monastery, I'm not sure I'm pronouncing that right, even in English. Um, and then Tower of Bellum is right there as well. Geronimo's Monastery, which hasn't been a monastery since 1833. This was built sometime in the 16th century and was, uh, I believe at one point it was the royal, you know, the castle where the king and queen uh, of some dynasty lived the Avis dynasty, something like that. Inside the monastery now. Amazing architecture. Show you one shot of what it looks like from downstairs here. So now that we've been inside of it, this portion here is the monastery. Here is the church, which is free to get in, but you can see the line right there. It's probably a 45 minute line. And I guess down there is an archaeological museum, something like that. This is Monument to the Discoveries, and you probably can't tell how big this is on camera, but it's huge. This thing's incredible. I like this better than L'Arc de Triomphe in Paris. On this bigger, I think it's more impressive, the, the artwork, the Sculpt sculpturing, if that's the word, and this setting with, I keep calling it the Golden Gate out there. This is the Tower of Balaam, and it is basically the mark of the entry of the Port of Lisbon here. So, from a different angle, you can see that this is the, this is the Tagus, I think it's called, river, and it opens up into the ocean pretty soon over there. I get a different angle, you can see that. So, this is a port of embarkation and disembarkation for 
explorers heading uh, well, all over the world actually out of here from the 16th century, so the 1500s. Also looks like there's a big fire up there on the other side of the uh, Golden Gate Bridge. A lot of black smoke over there. So there it is, Tower of Balaam. And you can see basically the end of civilization right there after that is the ocean. Check out the huge cruise ship, which I think that's the one we saw in port earlier today. Coming under the 25th of April Bridge. We're going, going across the 25th of April Bridge over to Christ the King. found Jesus. This is Christ the King. Uh, started in 1949, ended in 1959, uh, based on Christ the Redeemer in Brazil. Right here at 25th the Bagel Bridge. What an amazing view of uh, Lisbon from here. Today we're going to take the train to Sintra. It's Sunday, by the way. The guy told us the train runs every half an hour. We show up at 9.13 and the next train is 10.01. So we're getting a later start than we wanted to. We have to kill 45 minutes. So after, what, about a mile and a half walking up the hill and then buying tickets and then walking another 500 meters uphill, we probably gained a total a good 800 foot vertical and a mile, mile and a mile, 1.4 miles. We're at Pena Palace and we have a noon admission. We're about to get in here. Look at that guy. I have magic set at my house. We are now at the Moorish Castle. Very close to Pena Palace. This is built in the 8th and 9th centuries. This is the only part of it. It's huge. It's a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Here's the best view we've had of Sintra. Train tracks right there. Train just came in. I think that's where we got the train from. It sure looks like it. Pena Palace from the Moorish Castle. 
Sally's Palace. <laughs> hey, so we're gonna wrap up this video here. We're on our last night out of 12 consecutive nights in Europe. So uh, I guess we're happy to be getting back to the United States, but uh, Europe has been great. So uh, check out our other videos on, let's see, we went to Berlin, Amsterdam, and Copenhagen on this trip. So check that out. Also today, we spent the entire day in Sintra, Portugal. Uh, so that'll be its own separate video. So check that out, it was enjoyable. I'll tell you what, the, uh, we, we enjoyed all these four, all four European cities here. Certainly had the best weather, weather here in uh, Lisbon. It's, I think the time is at eight o'clock at night, something like that right now when it's still gorgeous outside. Uh, and this is mid-September. It was almost hot today, actually. We got a little sun today for sure, so. Uh, anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. It was Peace. a great trip. Yep. You'll enjoy it. Peace.